I think this right here is just a, look at this thing, beautiful man. And dude, watch, this, this clutch is huge. I like when you first get them when they're just like laid. What's up YouTube? How's everyone doing today? Hope everyone's having a great day. Um, guys, as you can see, um, my snakes didn't get stolen. They're still here. Obviously you guys know because I was totally clicking beginning you guys. But um, we're still not done here. We're still waiting for another incubator to come in before we start setting everything up. But do we have a really, really cool vlog for you guys. Special, 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 special pies. This video is nothing about specials. Um, why is that? Because we have a special pied clutch and we have a clutch that we have to pull out that was bred to a special pied as well. So this right here is a clutch we just uh, filmed on our Patreon. If you guys are the member of Patreon, make sure you guys go check it out. Two people just won a contest uh, to go with me to Jessica Belka's uh, for two days, three days, fully paid for and everything. And in October, we'll be doing a giveaway for Tenley, flying someone out for Tenley room and everything paid for. And then we'll be doing a snake giveaway valued at $3,500. On October the November, we're doing a uh, contest winner for a Mexico trip, fully paid for. And then December, we're going to do another trip to Jessica Belka's or vice versa. Uh, Justin's again on November or December, we go to Mexico. Depends where Animalia lands. But um, cool, let's talk about this clutch. We killed it with the odds, man. Six eggs. Well, one died and it was a special. But um, this was a special pied boy bred to a pastel yellow belly inchy pied. So let's go through what we got here real quick. So I'll start off with the basic stuff real quick. I think this right here is just a regular inchy pied, you know, possible GNX, really, really clean. Let's sex it real quick as well. And this right here is a male. And then next we have this beautiful pastel inchy pie. This thing kind of tripped me out at first. When it first came out, I saw the whole stripe. And I was like, what the hell is this damn freaking cypress? But no, look how clean it is. This could be also possible Gene X. These things came out really, really, really clean. And let's see. And this right here is a female. Cool, man. And she hit really good on these. So think about it. Out of six eggs, four of them, well, one of them died, but there was four special combos. Obviously, with special, you could just see it because their heads are none like no other. And they're very, very high white snakes. Even though if you throw Enchi in there, for some reason, they still get super high white. But they're beautiful snakes, man. I just can't wait to see what gene's going to work with them even better. Because what I'm seeing right now, I'm digging them. Their heads are just totally cool because they're totally different than seeing any other pipe. And we haven't really seen any other pipe stuff that changes the head so much unless you put, you know, um, clown into it. But yeah, let's go through the special combos. So these next two... I believe are the same combo and this right here stay down here a little bit this right here is a I believe is a pastel inchy special pied or it's just a uh, special pastel pied but yeah look at this thing beautiful man I love that head stamp and let's see what we have right here we have 1.1 so far so this is a male and if that's just a pastel special pied then I believe this is the pastel inchy special pied or they both could be the same. I was talking to Jessica Belka about, he was saying that even with Inchi, these snakes are still just coming out really, really high white, but they have the same head pattern right there. And I believe this is a female. Yep, female. So we have 2.2. And this next one is the one I will be keeping. I believe this right here to be a special yellow belly pied. As you can see, you can see the pixelation right here on the alien heads. Again, these special are just high, high white snakes. But look how cool this thing is. And I believe this is a female. Yep, female. All right, get back in here real quick. But yeah, this is the clutch right here, man. This is so freaking awesome. Guys, please comment down below and let me know what you guys think about this clutch. Um, I'm really excited about it. And again, talking about special stuff, let's get ready to pull out this clutch because man, this thing is a freaking banger. And I believe we have a lot, a lot of eggs. All right, so for the new people that are uh, watching my channel, if there's any new people that are watching, I'm gonna go through a quick little setup the way we do our egg boxes. We've been doing this since day one. So yeah, so let me know if you guys like this. I know there's a lot of plenty of ways of doing it. Um, I really like this method. Like I said, I've been doing that from the beginning. I haven't had no problems with it. So over here, obviously we use perlite we use um three and a half and you know what's crazy i believe we're gonna have to do two of these eggs egg boxes because like i said there is a lot of eggs and i think we're gonna have to split them up but we'll see right now when we get her out it's crazy because it's crazy because we were looking at the clutch card and she's done six eggs seven and eight she never you know but i'm telling you, it looks like there's a lot of eggs in there so now what we do is we fill it up with water all the way till the top. Once we can see the water rising to the top of the perlite, that's when we know that we have a perfect ratio of water to perlite, and it's enough humidity for them to, you know, give out a nice healthy clutch. So I'm just gonna fill this up real quick. 
later. All right, so we just filled this up with water, and as you can see, if I tilt it to the right or tilt it to the left, we just go side by side, you can see the water rises. And then what we use over here is, is we use a lot of these easy hatch trays that you could get over there at Breeding Circle, at Breeder Circle, or you could get it at easyhatchtrays.com. But it's something we've been using here, put this right in here. All right, now this egg box is ready. So we're gonna put this right here. And dude, watch this. This clutch is huge. Oh man. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is take out this black uh, track tag. It's actually a teal one, but we painted it, um, we put it with the black marker just because we ran out of them. We would order another, enough of them. And we didn't think that much girls were gonna be going for us this season. So the red ones mean for us that we're gonna do a full clean. Well, Jesse is, or Tina. All right, so let's see how much we have right here. Okay, and again, this is a super chocolate head pie. This is her fourth year going for us. Since I've had her, she's been going, giving us clutches left and right. So we have one, two, three, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven eggs. That's a lot of eggs, man. That's gonna suck to have to, you know, make some money. Hmm. What do you think, turtle? Oh, let's get them out of here first. I like when you first get them when they're just like laid. They're nice and fresh and easy to just pull off. You don't have to um to peel them off like usual. And they get yelled at by big guns. Big guns. Big shout out to the big guns. Uh, don't know who he is, but um, I guess I'll eat big guns. But nowhere near a big dog. It sucks, man. I, I hate when I have to put one extra egg on a different tray or I might have to just switch them all up. But it's so cool, man, that these eggs are so perfectly, uh, how do you say it, size-wise to get these on here. Look at these. So freaking cool. Man, wish I could fit an extra one, like bam, like right there. Hey, like that, no? Cool. All right, so real quick, guys, I am going to um, candle these things, and then I'm gonna mark them, you know, because that's always what I do. All right, so we're right here, we're looking for some healthy veins, and an embryo. Good so, so good so far. All right, it's looking good. Another one. All right, perfect, so I'm just gonna mark these things up, and yes, guys, don't make fun of me, I still do this. So that's clutch 29 or clutch 30, I'm not sure. We're gonna find out right now when we put these things in the incubator right now. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much what we do. And then next we get a clutch card, we get all the information, we put all the information on top of there, we put it on the bottom of the incubator. And hopefully by the next vlog, man, we can do a full tour of inside and outside of what we've done in here. And you guys already know why we changed it up. Um, uh, and that's pretty much it. Well, guys, as always, man, we appreciate all the support. Till next time, peace.